Alright, so we're down here just south of Akamal, uh, down here with the family for the week, but we're getting away. I did fish yesterday for a while and I did actually catch a couple of trigger fish, so hopefully I'm gonna be able to catch a little bit more of that on footage later this week. Uh, it's been ripping rain, so we have a tropical depression down here and it's just been raining all day, every day. We'll probably see a lot today, that's why I only have the GoPro with me, but I think it's gonna be good first thing. It's fairly calm right now. We're down near Boca Pila. I've always wanted to fish down here. I've fished south of here a bunch, down in Belize and down in uh, some of the other areas in Southern Mexico, but I've never fished Boca Pila. So uh, excited to check it out. Excited to bring you guys along. All right, so we made it out here. Uh, as my guide Slater's telling me, this is, it's like a horseshoe. So this is the mouth right here and it pushes water out. That's why it's actually pushed away a lot of this sargazzo. Um, and then it makes, you can just barely see the breakers out there. It makes this horseshoe all the way around where the sand piles up. And I guess the GT just sit right on that crash right there. And they're just waiting for stuff to come over. So we're fishing nine weights here and we've got, uh, just straight 40 pound tied to an EP bait fish. We're gonna start with that. Might be able to do some, some popper action later too, but we're gonna check that out first and uh, see if we can't catch any jacks. We're gonna march out here along this edge before the waves are breaking. Yep. Shallow. We're gonna cast in to the darker water because that's where the fish are gonna be feeding. We got good waves today, which allow movement between areas for the jacks. The jacks will surf over the sandbar in the waves. Maybe we'll get to see some. Hopefully the sun comes out. And then the bait fish are trapped inside. Another set wave, full jacks, leave, egress, salir, and it's over. Awesome. Sweet. Let's do it. I've never caught one of these before. Weird. Yeah. You want to put there? Yeah, it's okay. I think this is recording, so that's crazy. Adios. What's uh, what the deal is? Am I not hitting them hard enough, or I think it's just uh, 
Just not getting them in the right spot. I don't know, just keep your rod tip down. You might be raising it up. It didn't seem like, I thought you had it down good, you know, but. Yeah, it seems like they're in here pretty thick now. There you go, that's a jack tank. That's a jack tank right there. Yeah. That's a jack tank. <laughs> really? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> it's been cool, man. It's been really cool. This is awesome. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Like a pro. Holy crap. Do we take take a video? Is it yeah. going? Oh yeah. Is it going right now? Yeah. Okay. That was awesome, dude. I bet you filmed that whole take, everything. Yeah. I think it was, yeah, it's going. Very cool. Yeah, Isaac. Let him go, let him go. I'm gonna run out of the vacuum. Uh, you got plenty. For now. <laughs> For now. <laughs> they come in in groups, you know, they come in in big rotting packs. We're almost back to fly line. Maybe. Oh, there it is. Oh, 
jail. Alright. Alright, let me get that hook out. Well, you set the hook on this one. Give her. Huh? So that's a wrap for us. Uh, the jack fishing was awesome. We saw some really big jacks. Missed one, it got off, and then caught a really big one. Uh, but everything else here is pretty turbulent, and there's just not a lot of seaweeds. It's more visibility, really. It is. Yeah. But we did catch a fish with a story. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. So it's been a great day out here. and. Uh, Ready to do some more later. Thanks, man. Hell yeah.